All right, traders, welcome to today's recap. It is Tuesday, March 2nd. And uh, a little bit later with the recap today, we had a nice uh, we had a nice member webinar, uh, Tribeca Trade Group member webinar after the close today with um, with with one of our bright stars uh, and um, in the room. So he comes in every uh, what every month or so. We I know we had him on briefly last week too, but um, it's great to have you know these member webinars where we kind of talk about how the day went and some trades and so on and so forth. So so you know the beginning of the video I'll mention this if you if you're not a member if you're you know if you're just watching these end of day videos. And, and you're not a member of, of Tribeca Trade Group, you're missing out. You're missing out on like the majority of what we do, right? We've got ex some exceptional members who, you know, provide a little bit of coaching as the day goes through. They provide the, all their, you know, open open entries and exits and so forth besides obviously what I do. But, you know, I think really, um, you know, newer traders really learn off of, of course, not what I'm just doing, you know, because I run the room, but also some what some seasoned, you know, members are doing and they really add a, a very good perspective and, and they're superstars. So, um, so we do that, you know, we try to have these member webinars and um, to kind of discuss things and, and what they did on the on the day and um, why they, they may have not thought it was a, a great day to begin with today. But we'll get into a little bit about that. Uh, risk disclaimer in front of you, everything that's uh, that we're going over is for information purposes only uh, education education purposes only not giving out any advice or recommendations all right so um, I've got this I've got this spelling in here that's wrong uh, but it's kind of been a long been a long day uh, we had the cues right cues and you know a lot of growth I saw on my screens that were giving back a lot of the gains from yesterday. So we didn't really know, you know, and, and we never know, right? There's never, nobody has a crystal ball and everybody makes predictions and so forth. But we didn't know if we were really going to get a little bit of follow through from yesterday's, you know, bounce in, in the indices or if it was just kind of a bounce for some things and other things are going to kind of take the ball and run with it. So let me explain a little bit. So there was some outperformance today, you know, for example, the diamonds. Um, also, if you look at value, which still finished red on the day, but really that's how it's been going with value rotation, right? And I'll talk about that in just a second, right? Um, of course, the value names in the S&P are small, right? They're small portions of, of the index. So when growth takes a hit, unfortunately, it, it just brings the indices down and causes some selling for, in the indices. So it's tough, even though if it's a if it's a value day, like today was more that I saw things, you know, outperforming. And I hate to keep throwing that term out there, value, right? But it's just certain sectors that are just showing, you know, some relative strength, right? So Let's get a little bit into the price action for the day, um, but you could see there's there's a lot of red on the screens, and there was a lot of falling of things that you know, like for example, the solar stock. So we'll talk about them in just a second too. Let me cover the indices because they're most important, right? And that's where we want to gauge our picture. But coming into today, I, you know, like I said, I, I didn't really know what we were going to get. Um, you know, the market started to act fairly decent as we got into the open today. You know, we. Um, sorry, right in here, right? We rebounded from the lows of the session, which had some overnight stuff that was going on about China um, and about, you know, speculation. And, you know, we kind of came into the day, we, we do see sometimes the first 10, 15 minutes of the day is a little bit rough, but we rebounded. Um, and then we kind of just saw like, you know, and we were looking at the VIX too for the day and just noticing that these bars were pretty green, you know, were pretty uh, big green bars. So, um, you know, that's how the day kind of materialized. And I kind of just backed off. And I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm trying to kind of like put some things and some things that I went over in the overnight, you know, uh, you know, where I do my studying and looking at charts, but it just wasn't materializing the way that I wanted it to go. And I just said, hey, you know what, we're gonna, <laughs> it just looks like we've got a lot of, we've got a lot of chop. And, you know, it actually ended up being some volatility at the end of the day. But um, it just looked, it, it just looked like it wasn't the way that I wanted it that I thought we were gonna that we were gonna get that second day of continuation so um, it's really important when sorry there's a headline on the tape about Rio which I saw some calls earlier Rio Tinto chairman Simon uh, Simon Thompson won't seek re-election in 2020 so that's on the tape I don't know if anybody's holding that name but we did see a lot of steel names that saw some uh, some call activity today but you know, it really helps, I think, to kind of go over this in terms of, you know, newer traders come into this market 
and and this was one of the concepts that we were going over in the um, in the member webinar is that sometimes you think that you're just going to get a great day every day and it's not that way and the analogy that I used earlier some people like this some people don't I understand because some people don't want to compare trading to gambling but there are elements in my opinion so for example right I'm not an I am not a total expert poker player but I know enough to get by and what happens with the real good poker players if you're in a, if you've ever been in a poker tournament right sometimes the the good players what are they doing a lot of the times they're folding they're folding they're folding they're fold they're waiting till they get a good hand to play now there may be a little bit of bluffing that goes on so forth and there may be hey I'll try this hand it's you know you drew an ace you know maybe you got some something else comes out in the deck so you stay in the hand for a little bit but if you're drawing you know uh, a, a, maybe a pair of twos and a and a six and a seven you know a six and a, and a ten is your high card you're folding right so that's what some of these days are right and we've talked about this concept before where you can't make the same money every day sometimes the market's just not going to give it to you right and you know from the on the long side right today there were some things on the short side that you could have played that made some money but you just have to realize that you know this market has been very choppy the last couple weeks right we've been exploring the range right we've been trying to go higher a couple times um you know and we've gotten to the to to a point and we back off right so it's a little bit more clear if we look at the one hour chart right you know we we made a high all the way back you know when when was this and in, in you know in the middle of february and since then it's kind of been a struggle right we went down we try to go back up and kind of reclaim this last wednesday we know what happened we kind of fell apart a bit so we're right now we're in the pattern of making you know we made the high here we made a lower high here and we made an, another you could call this now at this point another lower high so we've got to basically get out of this pattern now when does that happen well we don't know and until then you, you got to play small ball until that happens right and if you're looking for continuation every day because listen I was looking for that too I wanted that continuation to for us to kind of get back up here but it's not to be right now so what do you do until then well you kind of just you play small ball right and that's the best thing that I can I could really tell everybody you know and again not giving any not telling you know anyone what to do but you just have to wait until the till the environment improves right and not swing for the fences right base hits doubles keep your position size down right there's these are the adjustments right it's another thing too I, I always talk about that word a lot adjustments right coming in and thinking that all is going to be fine every day is is going to be a recipe for disaster right what happens I use, I like to use football as well as an analogy you know Bill, Bill Belichick right one of the best coaches out there I know forget about this season a little bit but you know what happens they, they come out with a game plan every game well, what happens at halftime? They go in the locker room, and if the game plan's not working, they make adjustments, right? So it's the same thing with trading, right? And I know because I, I see a lot of comments, right? Oh, was you know was was it a false bounce yesterday? Was it you know um, was was it a, a a trap yesterday? I don't think it's any of those things. I think it was a place where if you put some some money to work on Friday, you got rewarded for it, right? And you you could sell into it. And specifically, what I've been saying is, um, you know, watch those growth names. The, we're, we're now in a little bit of a different environment. And again, I've showed this chart a couple times now. I'll show it one more time. But just so that you could see there's something else that's brewing or that's, the, you know, the dynamic of the market has changed a little bit. So to think that you could go back in all in growth without and not really understanding the relationship and what interest rates are doing is is a little bit, I would say, naive in my opinion. Now, you could have a different opinion. That's fine. But that's my opinion. Um, but if you look at this IWF, I, I, w, IWD, IWF, right, the relationship does look like it's changed, right? If you scale out and look at value versus growth, you could see that you got something different going on here, right? Now, again, it doesn't mean that value is going to perform every day, right? Yesterday, growth outperformed. But I think you may want to consider on those days where growth really outperforms selling the rip right taking more profits in those names and maybe buying the dip a little bit more in things that like financials materials industrials until this relationship kind of changes 
but I that's the way that I view it right now. So if you look at some things, right, and first let's talk about the cues too. Right? So cues also, you know, right where they kind of needed to turn. So again, they could be sitting back here. I, I don't think it's necessarily like game over or anything like that. You just have to wait for that confirmation, right? And we talked about, we went through a bunch of charts in yesterday's video about the one hour where we got to top of value. Many names got to the top of value and they, you know, either stalled out there or they just got a little bit above. And, you know, we mapped this out this morning and said, hey, if we get back into value, you got to know that's, that we're, we're you know, we, we've lost the um, we've lost the upside momentum. So for now, we've lost the upside momentum of the bounce, and you have to just reassess a little bit. That's all, right? IWM also, you know, I'm thinking too. Like if you look at this, if you look at this daily chart in IWM, I still think that we eventually break out of this thing out of value. Um, but we didn't get it today. We're sitting back to the 20-day moving average, and you kind of just re see if we regroup a little bit here. Um, and you got to be patient with it and just let it materialize, right? So um, I mentioned I would talk about the solar names. Now, you know, here's one one area. And again, we just, we didn't know, and you can't know completely what's what names are going to do what, what groups are going to perform better. But look at this thing. It 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 rallied, it was up 5.7% on Friday, sorry, on Monday, and it gave it all back today, right? So that's not something that's not really building, right? Apple's another name, right? Where I know everybody's been asking me about Apple, right? Because it has brand recognition. People know it a lot. But hey, it had this huge bounce yesterday, but but it didn't follow through, right? Another thing that we were talking about in the member webinar was there, was, there wasn't big volume in Apple yesterday. So it, it kind of, you've, even though it looked very strong and there was all kinds of option activity, all kinds of call buying, you know, back down 2%, right? So we've talked about these names that kind of break down um, and break below the 50-day moving average. They can bounce, but that's all you got out of Apple for now. So, you know, um, it's better, I think, to, to look at more constructive setups than, than this. Um, I'll talk about one setup that, would, that I was in that didn't work today. You know, and this is going to happen, right? You're going to take shots at things. And by the way, this, is, this isn't bad. It's still holding the 50-day moving average. But what I was looking for, if you go to the one-hour chart, right? Because I, tra I do trade on smaller time frames. I use the one hour chart a lot. I watched this break out of value and said, hey, I'm participating. We could possibly get through here. We could, you know, my first target was around 54, 55, you know, 56. But look at it. It fell back into value, right? So that, that was my place to say, hey, it's not working if it can't, you know, I'm, I'm in this for like a short term swing. So here's my stop point and I'm out, right? So that's an example. Um, another area that I should, you know, one name that I like here is, you know, a reopening trade, which is Las Vegas Sand. So what, so what do I like about this name? So first of all, look at it. It's up three, it finished up 3% today, right? And, you know, I missed this move, this whole, you know, stretch higher. But one of the things that's happening here is it's putting in a bull flag and notice how the volume is declining through the bull flag, right? And now all of a sudden it's trying to resolve higher and, and you got stronger volume, right? So, um, that's what I'm looking, you know, that's what I like. And, you know, I did add a position in Las Vegas Sands today. All right. So that's, that's basically it. Um, you know, I always show the, my trade blotter, but yeah, I mean, I, I was kind of picking at some things this morning, right. And, um, you know, none of these, you know, I, I put on an applied materials trade, uh, towards the end of last week, I took one target in and yesterday I put the target back. I put on a small trade in Baidu, um, you know, Baidu acted pretty well. We saw some call activity. So I put a small weekly trade on. Um, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, you know, no big deal, right? Um, another thing too, I didn't go over, um, but yeah, I got out of MasterCard, right? So again, you know, I think making those adjustments right now with the tape a little bit harder, um, make sure, you know, I have to make sure that I'm not accumulating positions. That's the worst thing that I want to do in a choppy tape, which is what we have right now. So if I add one, I got to take something off, right? And if I took a bunch of things off yesterday, which I did, you know, I had a little bit room to kind of add a little bit risk if I thought we were going to get continuation, which we didn't. So that's that. Um, one other stock I wanted to talk about, and we'll kind of end it here, but if this doesn't tell you what's up, I don't know what, what would, right? So Zoom, right, had wonderful earnings, good guidance, all, all the great things that you want to hear out of an earnings, uh, 
you know, out, out of an earnings report. However, right, it doesn't matter what they did last three months. It's the market is forward looking. Do you think Zoom is going to be able to do the same comp numbers and get the same results as what they did last quarter as the country's reopening? People are still going to use Zoom, right? Everybody calls it now Zoom and so on and so forth. But they're probably, they may be at the peak side of their business given the country it was on lockdown, right? It's just, it's a little bit of also common sense just to know that Zoom is always going to be there, right? They're the leader in what they do but it's not going to get as good for them, right? And I think that's evidence of what you said. And we covered this, this you know, in pre-market. And I said, watch this thing fade today because it just doesn't have a reason right in this environment, right? If, if the economy, we've got three vaccines going now, people are not going to want to be on Zoom calls forever, right? Um, I've talked about this too uh, with younger people who are coming into the workforce do you think they want to be like usually when you start in the workforce right your first job out of college you take a job maybe it's not your dream job but you take it and you hopefully you can network right and you can get the dream job or get on the path you can't do that on a zoom call <laughs> so you know it's going to be difficult and it's going to be difficult for a while in terms of whether or not people get back to completely but it's going to change a little bit Right. And that's why if you look at the stock, yes, there's reasons why it did this today. Again, I don't think that their business is going to go away or anything like that. It's just not going to be at peak. So that's my thoughts for the day. Have a great night, everybody. And um, if you're not a member of, T of Tribeca Trade Group, we go over so much more. Somebody criticized me earlier because I said um, on Twitter, I said, you know, Try not to give back yesterday's gains today into the chop and so forth. And they're like, well, you could have told me that a half hour ago. I'm like, well, you're not a member of Tribeca Trade Group where I did tell you. So, <laughs> I, you know, spend a little bit of money to, to invest. Try something out. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. But, you know, we're here to help. All right, guys, have a great night. See you tomorrow.